In this video, we're gonna be benchmarking four graphics cards for Division 2. We got the RTX 2060, the GTX 1060, the 1660 Ti, and the 970 in four different graphic options. We got low, medium, high, and ultra settings. Let's dig into it. Hey, how is it going guys? My name is Robin, glad you made it. I test graphics cards and gaming peripherals. In this video, yeah, we're gonna be benchmarking for graphics cards on a budget-friendly system, a Ryzen 2400G, slightly overclocked to 3.9 gigahertz, and eight gigs of RAM clocked at 3,000 megahertz. I got the latest NVIDIA driver, which is the 519.35, as of posting this video. And we're gonna be testing for graphics card this time, the 970, the 1060 uh, with 6 gigs of VRAM should be said, the 1660 Ti and lastly the RTX 2060. At any time during the video feel free to check out the links and additional information down below. Now I should say guys that I am currently looking for a couple of AMD cards for future testing as well such as the 580 and possibly a 590 and even a Vega 56. Anyway have you played the game yet? Share your thoughts in the comments. You can run the game in both DX12 and DX11 and although you typically gain performance in DX12 on any AMD graphics card it is more often than not the complete opposite for Nvidia where you often see higher numbers with DX11 activated therefore I obviously wanted to test this to see if there were any differences here and it turns out that the only slightly older 970 is the only card that actually loses performance in DX12 and so if you're sitting on a 9 series card from Nvidia or before that simply stick to DX11 for the time being at least for AMD yeah DX12 will give you the best experience so what can we say from running the tests in low well the CPU wasn't fast enough for any of the graphics cards and so although the Ryzen 2400G isn't a bad processor by any means it can be a bottleneck in fact in games where graphics is not as important. This is however not the case with Tom Clancy's The Division 2 at higher graphics. And jumping over to medium, all four graphics card manages to score pretty well here. Even the GTX 970 did pretty good considering the fact that we are testing in DX12 and not DX11. At medium settings the game allocated about 3.9 GB of VRAM and even though the 970 only has about 3.5 gigabyte of fast VRAM, no stutter or spikes in the frame time were spotted here so that's good at least. Now when you select high graphics or above that I was noticing that the game was allocating up to 4.1 gigabyte on the 1660 Ti and so that makes me believe that although no lags or hiccups were spotted 4 gigabytes of VRAM memory seems to be what the game allocates in 1080p at medium settings or medium slash high settings so it's something to have in mind. With everything set to ultra or maxed out, the 1060 and the 970 had a hard time with 1% low under 40 FPS. The 1660 Ti as well as the 2060 manages to score well above the 60 FPS mark and so opting for ultra shouldn't be a problem here. Now pairing up a pretty advanced expensive graphics card such as the RTX 2060 with a cheap CPU such as the Ryzen 2400G and only 8 gigs of RAM isn't the best or the smartest idea as the CPU in many cases can become a performance killer even at higher graphics settings. For example, I had to max out the game to even take full advantage of the much stronger RTX 2060. So judging from the numbers, the GTX 1660 Ti and the Ryzen 2400G is very much a great sweet spot and a great combo between price and performance. Now what about AMD and what numbers can you expect here? Well since I am unable to test these cards this time I have been looking at benchmarks on the internet instead and judging from other benchmark numbers a R9 390 with 8 gigs of VRAM will perform right about the same as a GTX 1060 6 gig card and the RX 590 performs similar to a GTX 1660 Ti and a Vega 56 is scoring about the same 
same as an RTX 2060. Now for more information about the specific cards I have been testing in this video, have a look in the description. Again, let me know your initial thoughts of the game so far. I never really got into the first division as I lost interest of the game as I heard about the amount of cheaters. Anyway, from what I played so far, I quite honestly like it. I wanna be back guys with a brand new video in just a day or two. Until then, have an awesome day, right?